Hello and welcome to your angel reading with the Nameless Ones. Place your energy into these cards to get your free reading. Shuffle these cards on behalf of the angels and ancestors of my viewer, the soul of my viewer. For the one who is watching this video right now, what messages do you have? I'm a source creator of all that is spirit. Please show my viewer, show me what my viewer needs to see and know right now. The fact that number one, Passion Ignited fell out is just a great start. So this is like the passion in your heart being renewed and coming back into balance. And there's like deep healing here and there's hope again. There's light again. There's a new beginning, it's number one. Okay, love begins, the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. right. Oh my God, and the Two of Cups. Some of you are going to begin a new romantic relationship or else deepen an existing one. All right, I'm just tuning in. So like I said, new beginning, number one, starting over, okay? You've gone through a period of emotional withdrawal. So you needed to get back to the self. Number eight is about the self, it's the infinity, okay? So you needed to, you were discontent, you were bored, <clears throat> you were disappointed, you weren't satisfied with the way your life was going. Perhaps it was a relationship that just wasn't gonna work for you. You just felt bored or you weren't you weren't getting the full passion of what you needed in order to create the spiritual union that your heart wants okay with your throat chakra there being blocked it may be that you found it hard to express into words to whatever you what you were withdrawing from whatever situation or relationship you were pulling away from it may have caused your throat chakra to get blocked because Sometimes we find the truth hard to express, especially if it wasn't allowed or encouraged in our childhood. Perhaps our parents didn't welcome the full expression of our truth or, or us expressing our needs because they simply couldn't meet those needs or perhaps they just felt it was irrelevant or you were being selfish. But the truth is when you speak up, and have clear boundaries and express your needs you're better able to access and activate your destiny number 10 so something is completing something has been completed now so something's come full circle fate has stepped in destiny has to step in now to pull you into this new timeline right which is saying number one again look you've got three number ones okay so love begins one of my favorite cards i just love the image of the masculine and feminine pouring the water into the lake it's a really happy new beginning it's the ace of cups in tarot these are tarot but they're psychic tarot but this is the ace of cups so this is the holy chalice being poured upon you and it's all good stuff look at that water it's healthy it's full of rainbow colors it's full of the unicorn colors there so this is the beginning of a really connected spiritual experience it can very much be connected to romantic love and when i see it with spiritual union here i'm i'm calling romantic i'm calling a love relationship stepping into your life and like i said this feels very very new it feels like a new energy as well okay so spiritual union number two we've got the two of cups there's that beautiful gold chalice which came up in a reading today with someone um, and there it is again so the two of you are joining your middle eyes together you're joining your consciousnesses and you are pouring it into this cup and you're creating this new relationship experience now you have to have patience patience is required you've got the seed there 
And God is saying, plant the seed and I will grow the tree. I will grow the flower. I will grow this beautiful lily for you. But you can see this person is using their, using their meditative state to draw in consciousness to create something new. You're being asked to do the same. This will lead to a material harvest. So this will bring in resources, money, um, abundance, prosperity, all those good opportunities. It can also be emotional abundance, right? Which I think is much more fulfilling than any load of coins on the table. Um, so emotional abundance through connection, through partnership, through groups and organizations, through following your destiny, following your, your heart. Number one, again, you got to have patience. You got to have awareness. You've got to expand that upper crown chakra and allow and trust your spirit to lead you in the right direction. Let's have a look at these cards. Placing your energy in here. If you have any questions for your angel or spirit guide, take advantage of this present moment as we connect and as we bring in the nameless ones infinite intelligence to talk with us through these cards and to help you to see what's coming in what's where you've just been and where you're going because I don't like to dwell too much on the past in a reading because you know your past you've been there you've lived it if I have a reading I want to pick up on the potential energies I want to know what am I tapping into right now and what are the potential options roadways doorways opening for me right so that's where I focus. Okay. Okay. So we've got woman holding a heart. We've got the thinking woman. So there's lots of feminine energy around you. Lots of women around you at this time. Woman holding a coin as well. Okay. Very, very strong focus on the divine masculine here. So there could be a woman who's after your heart or holding your heart if you're male or if you're lesbian um, or even bisexual so this is bringing in this is a very romantic f feminine energy but for those of you who um are not looking for that it can also be that you're tapping into your own heart you're coming back to your own power and you're tapping into to the divine feminine within yourself okay then we have the thinking woman so and we've got a lovely butterfly there as a symbol of transformation the thinking woman is a woman who is studying, she's educating herself, she is using her the balance between her mind and her heart. She's listening to her body. I'm getting a message that for some of you, this is an actual mentor or healer or therapist or some woman who steps in. It could be a friend in work who just gives you advice at the right time. Pay attention to the messages coming from wise women in your life, okay? The magician and the mirror reversed, right? So this is where you're procrastinating from actually implementing the action needed to create the goals, to experience the, de the des desired results of what you want. So you've got to flip that around. You've got to start stop the procrastinating and start taking filling out the forms, making the phone calls, you know, the nitty gritty of stuff of life that the 3D life that we all have to tend to. Not always the most fun thing. For some of you, I'm getting do your taxes. Something about paperwork that you've been putting off that you're going to have to. The sooner you do it, they say, the, the lighter you're going to feel. Interesting. We get patience again. Double patience, right? So this is about, there's something to do with timing here. There's something about divine timing that perhaps you've been trying to rush something. You've been trying to make it fit. You've been trying to, like, like for instance, um, maybe you're on like 10 different dating apps and you're trying to force this sacred meeting with your divine counterpart. And it's like, no, nah. there's, there's a divine timing. There's God's clock is there in this, in this, okay? This is on God's clock, not your clock, not your human clock. So you got to have some patience there and allow this to happen in its own good time because it'll actually be way better than you can ever imagine I'm hearing. So your little human ego self would never be a match to the divine timing of the source creator of all that is, right? So you got to have faith in that. We have the third chakra archangel Chamuel here. 
So some of you have reclaimed your power. Your solar plexus is being fired up. That gorgeous golden inner sun is shining and radi radiating out into the world again. And you are doing the work I'm hearing. You're actually fulfilling your mission. Some of you are actually on the cusp of completely filling your mission, which is pretty cool, pretty amazing. Then we have the temple path. So some of you are being called into your spiritual path, your healer done, your light worker role. You may find that the way you work is going to change, but that's okay because you have support for this and it will make your life a whole lot easier if you embrace those changes. Don't be worried about what your clients will think with the way you change. You are an evolving soul here. So the way you work will evolve and change as you grow and spiritually mature. I've been a healer all my life. I've been seeing people for 25, 26 years. The way I work now is very different. Well, it's it's not very different, but it's different. It has different subtleties to it than the way I originally worked. So you grow and learn, like with any job role, you you adapt, you trial and error, and you grow and you learn, you develop, and you, you hone your skills, okay? Then we have the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So this is reverse. So some of you have suppressed sexual needs or sensual needs. Whether that I'm getting for some of you, that's food. So if you've been on a strict diet or calorie restriction, somebody's being told, please go and have a nice big <laughs> high calorie meal. And by the way, calories, that whole, that's a myth. I've never believed in calories. I have a really high fat diet, like good fats, plant fats and things like that. And um, I, I just don't believe in calories. But some of you, this is about like denial of the inner desires. So I'm just listening. So your sacral chakra, your sexuality, your vitality, your fertility as well. Some of you might be struggling having some blocks with fertility. So you're being asked to tend to these things. If you need to book in with the clinic, if you need to talk to your, your practitioner, your health practitioner, or maybe you just need to go and have some therapy around fertility issues or around some eating disorder stuff um, or some sexual abuse or sexual violence in your past. I'm getting a heavy energy around that. Some of you have been suppressing and repressing that and you just you just been refusing to deal with it. Well, this is your confirmation now. And Archangel... Raphael is here to say it needs to be healed okay he's the healer angel and he's connecting to your heart chakra saying come on now go into your heart and heal that stuff you don't want to be bringing that forward with you into this lovely new year energy then we have 42 woman holding a coin so this is a strong powerful masterful feminine energy in your life she's quite well off she's quite wealthy she is very independent she stands on her own two feet she's very grounded she loves cats some of you might have a cat as well she loves animals she loves nature for some of my male viewers you may be crossing paths with this woman as a mentor or as a coach of some kind and then some of you this might connect to someone you're dating so she's very she's very empowered female she loves herself she looks after herself she's very very grounded this is a businesswoman this is somebody who is fearless when it comes to going after what she wants for some of you this could relate to an aspect of yourself that you need to develop or you need to expand upon okay let me see what else i get another deck finish here pull a few of these some of you I'm getting have itchy feet I'm meaning you want to move or you want to move on or you're bored where you've been and you're ready for something new someone else I'm getting throat tonsils having tonsils out or tonsillectomy or their child having a tonsillectomy it'll be fine it'll go well <clears throat> wow 
brilliant. Okay, similar themes again. It's amazing how they repeat throughout the spreads, but you know, you, different decks bring up different angles. So the moon is reversed. So any secrets or confusion is gone now. You're you're leaving those secrets of deceit or deception behind. Um, any confusion or fog or lack of clarity is being left behind now. That's reversed. So you're walking away from that. You're choosing to get really really focused here. With the three of pentacles, you are picking up the hammer and hammering in the nail. Like whatever I'm just getting for someone, this is a nail in the a final nail in the coffin. So something that you're ready to bury and put to bed. You're ready to let that go now. You're going to just move on. And this is about like hitting the nail on the head as I'm also getting. So there's a lot of focus now. There's a lot of what work, what physical work do I need to do? What leg work do I need to put in to create my goals and to reach that desired outcome of what this, this time is about for me? So some of you I'm saying by the end of the month, you will have achieved that milestone, okay? Then you're also, this card is telling us that you're, again, you had some great disappointment perhaps in recent months or recently, and it made you feel trapped. It made you feel like you weren't in control or you didn't have power over your own life. But again, that's reversed. So you are leaving that behind. So they're all there. It's really, really positive to see that those negative energies are being left behind. So some of you may have had to walk away from there was just too many options, you know, so your energy was scattered, your energy was split into different directions. It was like your imagination was stronger than the reality of what you were experiencing. So maybe you had a fantasy, like a, maybe you had a fantasy of when I move to such a place, this location is going to make all my dreams come true. Or if I get this job and you got the job and it didn't quite play out the way you thought. Or you had a fantasy of somebody, you were dating somebody and the relationship went to the next level and it didn't quite fulfill your heart of hearts. So again, that's reversed. You're walking away from unsatisfying, unfulfilling situations. You're moving into, you're leaving that to move into the hermit mode, which is becoming your own light, carrying your own light, being your own way shower, your own way shower, whatever you want to call that. You are allowing that time alone, that solitude to rebuild your aura and repair any scar tissue so that you can be reborn into this empress energy. And she's all about she is rebirth, she's spring, she's fertility. Again, fertility for some of you keeps coming up there as well. Um, in the traditional tarot, she is pregnant. So she's pregnant with life. She's fearless, she's creative. There's a connection with children as well. She is the empress of her energy and she is fully connected to who she is and what she wants. And this leads, when you go through this, you see that there's always a story that's unfolding as you move through those stages. As you take the time to heal and to love yourself back into recovery, back into true love for self, sitting into your power place, taking your throne in being the center of your own life experience, it brings you to the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is soulmates. It's two people falling in love, it's the fulfillment of wishes and it's very much about union, harmony, lovers finding each other, coming together, meeting your match, meeting your equal and having a very, very positive end to your reading. So if you enjoy this reading and if you'd like more of these spreads, please give me a thumbs up. That shows me that you're interested in this content. Thank you so much. My name is Aveen Doyle. You can find me at aveendoyle.com. I will leave the link in the description below. If you're interested in having a reading like this done for yourself, you can get, you basically go to my website, shoot me an email, and I can do these recorded readings where then I send you the video link through YouTube. And there's that service but then if you want soul coaching and a healing session 
You can also request that through my website as well at avendoyle.com. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Namaste.